The vampire squid is one of the strangest creatures in the ocean, and it's not even a squid. Despite its name, the vampire squid is actually a type of octopus. It's also known as the blanket octopus because it can completely wrap its body around its prey. But what exactly is a vampire squid? What does it eat and where does it live? War. What are its unique adaptations and how do they help it survive? And finally, what is the biggest threat to this strange creature? First, let's talk about its appearance. The vampire squid has eight arms and two long tentacles that are covered with suckers. Its skin is a deep red color and it has large, bulging eyes that can turn white when it's scared. Two has a big, round body that's soft and squishy like a balloon animal. The vampire squid can grow to be quite large, reaching up to six meters in length. However, most of its length is made up of its tentacles, which can stretch out like a string of pearls. The rest of its body is only about 20 centimeters long. Vampire squids live in the deep ocean where there isn't much light. Lee. They prefer to hang out at depths of around 2,000 meters, but they have been known to go deeper. Because it lives in the dark, the vampire squid doesn't need to camouflage itself. It doesn't have any predators that are big enough to eat it. However, it does get attacked by sharks, but the shark will usually spit it out because it tastes bad. One of the vampire squid's unique adaptations is its ability to turn its skin inside out. This allows it to eat its prey more easily, as well as protect itself from predators. When it's threatened, the vampire squid will also release a cloud of ink that can confuse the predator for a few seconds, giving the squid time to escape. Now let's talk about what the vampire squid eats. S. We mentioned earlier, it wraps its tentacles around its prey and then sucks it into its mouth. It mainly eats small fish and shrimp, but it will also eat other things like jellyfish and plankton. The vampire squid doesn't chase down its food. It just waits for it to swim within striking distance and then strikes with lightning speed. It can eat up to 40% of its body weight in a single meal. As you might have guessed, the biggest threat to the vampire squid is humans. We re constantly fishing in the deep ocean and many times we end up with unwanted guests in our nets. Squids, sometimes we catch them on purpose to use in research or to eat. While the vampire squid isn't endangered yet, it may become endangered in the future if we don't stop fishing in the deep ocean. So what should we do to protect the vampire squid? One thing we could do is stop using harmful fishing practices like bottom trawling. This is a method of fishing where a net is dragged along the bottom of the ocean floor. It's really destructive, and it often kills many unintended species, including vampire squids. Another thing we could do